Tanqua Artscape 2023. Thomas, I'm an artist. Uh, I work and enjoy working in a range of mediums that include bronze, ceramics, painting. I love to draw and I also work a lot in post-production and enjoy collaborating with audio and musicians. So I think each medium has its own unique qualities and I love responding to and learning about each of those qualities. What has brought you here? How did you hear about this place? And is it your first time here in the Tankwa? It's the first time in the Tankwa. I came unexpectedly on a journey with Kim We've spoken so many times um, about his vision for the residency, even before uh, the residency happened. I haven't always been um, here when the residency has happened and this time things lined up in such a way that I could join. And um, Kim, Kim invited me to come along, worked on developing residencies in the past and I have an interest in residencies and the idea of uh, what they can accomplish and especially in terms of around community and having a, a shared space to be creative. So how would you describe we've now been here for 10 days, more than 10 days actually, right? Yes. First day, yeah. Uh, how would you describe your personal journey here? The past few months have been very surreal, almost metaphysical for me. It's been theatre. Coming here has really consolidated all of that for me in, in a very amazing way. I've really enjoyed the sense of time and timelessness that, are, that has been re unexpected for me. I, I, I've known what to expect, but it's gone way beyond. On, on a personal level, meeting, getting to know people. I've spent a lot of time in different cities where I've known people maybe for 10 years and never had the kind of conversations we've had in a day. Um, creatively, it's been a wonderful opportunity to, to give shape to old ideas and to integrate them into new ideas and manifest them with such freedom and such openness. And to do that in a landscape that is indescribable Talking about my work doesn't, isn't a spontaneous process because I feel like making the work is my description of the work. It is doing what you can't put into words. And, and the words embellish the work. Uh, coming to Tonkwa, on the one hand, is, is very familiar. It's like coming home. On the other hand, it is changing minute minute by minute, day by day, in such extreme ways that that I don't think if you're if if you haven't been here, if you haven't experienced it, it's very difficult to try to describe the sense of timelessness or the sense of immediacy sometimes in the landscape, in the moment. And that's been wonderful to experience with people and with people coming together in a very spontaneous, un, um, choreographed way. And that's been a wonderful gift. And to be making art or to be make, being creative within that context is just phenomenal. I've really enjoyed that mm. aspect of it. So you already touched this a bit in, in your answer right now, but I mean, you are here, you work, you also have done a hard physical work in your art piece. Uh, which role has the collective played in 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 your process here? Well, I started out as a bit of an imposter. I didn't go through the selection process, so I had to just get my head around that, whether to do anything at all. I think once you confront the landscape and and start developing an idea, uh, then you have to very much, because you're responding to the landscape, decide, look, do I want to make a mark? Do I want to touch this landscape? And, and so for me initially, it was really 
to to over a couple of days get a sense of whether I'm whether it's appropriate for me to to do anything and at, at some point around the circles I said I'm questioning whether to do everything or nothing the answer really just revealed itself driving here I started having a very specific recurring concept that I wasn't that wasn't intentional it wasn't contrived it just keep echoing back and driving around I started zeroing in on a feeling on a space and and the concept didn't dissipate it got stronger to the point where I discussed it with Kim with Lely with JP and it resonated with them and I think the the collective for me has been a a space that cradles our ideas that holds our ideas ferments those ideas into into reality and has been something that I've really really enjoyed and will cherish and take with me that I don't think can be replicated it's just going to be a special moment mm. that kind of connects to the concept of the touchstone which is what the work is about is is a physical device that recalls a memory for me the rocks and the impulse of the artist to collect and to to retain and to hold has also played into that where for me it's a question of what do we hold on to and what do we let go what do we retain how does the land and the landscape touch us and how do we touch and uh, and affect the landscape in return that's been the my little meditation so so the structures one can see as a historical mistake or a historical t- decision that i'm revisiting what i did was to uh erase the one s- structure but to retain to retain the other structure as a memory but also then to shift it to a new function so the one structure went from water to air and dust and the other structure became art so i suddenly started to think now this is very precious because it's becoming art but i just destroyed the other one yeah but just What still i mean both in common half the circle now of course yes but it's also just a kind of a joke on myself like ah oh, so now this one i'm supposed to to protect and look after when it's no different to the other one it's just yeah. it's just how we like to find structure and 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 value and meaning in things but essentially it's the same <laughs> structure as the other one yeah um yeah so so in terms of the materials that just became a beautiful physical activity that is my form of meditation is to be busy where your body is busy your mind can be still uh on the on the first walk on the first day when we yeah. walked area 51 uh at some point i just sat next to a ant hill and watched the ant go about its business building without a specific intention really but with a harmony that was something really beautiful and in- interesting to me uh was was just the natural rhythm of nature and then i thought well i can also build something <laughs> so okay. then this was on there if the ant does it i can do it choosing a disturbed site or a site that had been disrupted gave me the freedom to to to, to not be over cautious yeah and yeah, what you say yes yeah, and i enjoyed that part of it So you were saying you take home these special mm. memories of mm. the collective of this mm. you know this atmosphere here what else will you take home I think I'll take a feeling back home I experienced on on one of the walks back from the site to the camp uh and and I was from one step 
to the next. I had a very strong experience and sense of complete timelessness where I'm still feeling that. And it could be a million years uh, or a second. A feeling of complete peace. And in fact, it was a feeling of being integrated into the landscape of oneness with the landscape more than timelessness just oneness and that was a wonderful thing to experience and like hopefully like with the touchstone it's a feeling i can go back into so i'd like to take that with me if possible but i'm not sure last thing thomas uh if you would have five words to describe the landscape, what would these five words be? Just as it should be. Just as it should be. Five words. Perfect. Thanks a lot. <laughs>